Every time one of these food shows do an episode in LA, they always mention Philippe's, home of the original French dip. I know they serve up a really mean French dip, however, there is some controversy regarding who really is serving the original French dip. Another LA eatery just a few blocks away called Coles claims to have served the first French dip a decade for Philippe's. So how do these two historic eateries stack up against each other? Let's find out. They got it all twisted. I'm gonna make my own show. On our first stop, we're heading over to Fleeps, located in downtown Los Angeles, California. Fleeps is a traditional deli-style restaurant that has been operating continuously since 1908. They have old-fashioned rows of tables with cafeteria-style seating arrangements and wood shavings on the floor, just like the old times, when it was used to help prevent slipping on the rainy days. There are many different variations of how the French dip was invented, and here's the most common story. The owner told a reporter that a customer saw some gravy in a pan of roast meat and asked if he can get his roll dipped in it. Other customers saw that and wanted the same. He ran out of gravy pretty fast and just had to get more ready for the next day. Uh, I've been waiting all day for this. I've been sitting in traffic for um, a good 45 minutes, creeping up along the five, and now we finally made it over here to Philippe's to try the double dip um, lamb sandwich over here. Now with the uh, French dips over here, these are uh, this is a double dip sandwich. It's been dipped on both sides of the bread over here. Uh, most French dips that you see get, uh, you get them with a little cup and you dip it in. Not over here. You get them dipped right before you get it. Hot mustard. This is really good. I complement my French dip lamb sandwich with a creamy potato salad made with pickles and celery. Mm -hmm. Pretty good salad. Potato salad. Got some relish, kind of tangy. I like it. Philippe's is open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. They take cash only. They have a candy counter that carries their famous hot mustard in the front. They have free parking on the premises and Philippe's is famous for serving regular cups of coffee for nine cents, even to this day. Now we're taking off from Philippe's and heading over to Cole's. Now we are on our way to Cole's which also claims they invented the French dip sandwich. Originally named Cole's Pacific Electric Buffet, they opened their doors in 1908. Henry Cole also operated Los Angeles' first check cash service from the restaurant. It is designated as a Los Angeles Historic Cultural Monument. It is located in the historic core district of LA, right by Skid Row. There is no free parking, but I did find an unoccupied meter. It smelled pretty bad getting out of the car, but as I turned the corner, wonderful smells of slow cooked meats poured out of the restaurant. The owner Henry Cole first dipped the French bread and gravy at the request of a customer who had dental work done recently. The French bread was too hard and it hurt the customer's teeth, so Henry dipped the bread in order to soften it. Other customers of perfectly good teeth saw Henry dip the bread and requested that he do the same for them. Coles has an outdoor patio. Now we're here at Coles. It is the home, Los Angeles oldest uh, public house. And they also claim to be uh, the originators of the French dip. Another great thing about Coles facility is a full service bar. 
For comparison purposes, I ordered the same thing. Here, um, I've ordered, also ordered a lamb dip over here, and it is similar in the sense that um, has two looking, uh, two wonderful looking pieces of lamb over here. However, they serve the au jus on the side in this little bowl over here. I also ordered some mash, uh, some uh, some potato salad over here. I'm gonna dig into this. And they gave me a cool little dill pickle over here. I wasn't offered that at um, Philippe's. So let's go see how this is gonna taste. Now over here also has their homemade spicy mustard. Um, the one I tried earlier over at Philippe's, um, it, it, was, it had a wasabi kind of taste to it. It, um, it burned the back of your throat a little bit, in a good way though. And over here, it's coming out kind of thick. It's a bit thicker than the other mustard. Put the mustard in here and um, it's a bit in the au jus. Also pretty tasty. Cole claims to have been serving the French dip the year that they opened. This is 10 years before Philippe's claims to have invented theirs. Now this salad over here feels a little bit uh, chunkier than the one over at Philippe's. Interesting, I was not expecting bacon in it. It's not as uh, tart of a salad as the one over at Philippe's. Kind of buttery. I, I generally prefer my uh, potato salads with a, li a little bit more tart, a little bit less buttery. But if you're into the buttery potato salads, you're probably into this one. Okay, I just say two sandwiches with potato salads and I'm falling into a food coma. I did make a decision on my favorite French dip. She bought selection does have to go to Philippe's. Here's why. I really enjoyed the free parking over there. Uh, like I said before, that is a rarity. And where else can I go grab a sandwich and not have to worry about paying for parking? It's just the quite simple logistics of that. And they just make a really, really good French dip. I really enjoyed it. And whenever I'm in the area, I will always try to make it a point to stop by over at Philippe's. So, all the travel shows and all the food shows, they did get it right on the sense that it's just a really good French dip. But the debate still continues on who really invented it. This is Gbot with Gbot's Travels and Adventures.